Last week, I went to the first party I've ever been to. I knew I was going to hate it because I didn't know anybody else there except for my acquaintance, Robert. He gave me an invite to the party and I decided to go because I thought I could get to know Robert better and then maybe get out of the acquaintance zone with him. I really needed some new friends at the time. I walked up to the door of a big old three-story house that I had begun hearing the music from a block or two away. I generally don't like getting headaches, so I just hesitated before going inside, but I decided that finding Robert was more important than my sense of hearing in an old age, so I headed on inside. It was a typical party scene. Solo cups, cluttered floor, pairs getting to know each other better on the couch. I set out on the hunt for Robert. It took a bit because I managed to search the backyard, third and second floors, and all the rooms before I found him between the couch and snack table on the first floor, where I had started. I hadn't even noticed the snack table at first. Something about it caught my eye, though. I went over to Robert, who was talking to a shorter Asian fellow. What's up, Robert? I said to him casually. Hey, dude, this is my friend, Asan Demographic. He's the one that threw the party. I turned to Asan and said, thanks for throwing this party, man. It's pretty cool. He nodded in agreement with a sort of sad glint in his eye. Before I could ask if he was okay, he gestured to the snack table and said, Help yourself to any snacks you want, he said ecstatically. But he still seemed very upset, just through his face, facial expressions. I said, Thanks, man. Confusedly, as I reached for some pretzels and ate them from my hand one by one. Suddenly I heard a loud roar from the kitchen entryway as a swarm of partygoers encircled someone and then slowly moved to create a path to the snack table. What's the big ruckus? I said questioningly. After there was no answer, I turned around to look at Robert and was surprised to see him with a pained ear-to-ear -ear smile and tears in his eyes. Asan had followed suit of Rob. I backed away from them with fear in my eyes. What the? was all I could say before I bumped into someone behind me. I spun, around, I spun around in a moment of true fear for my life, only to see a brunette Latin American woman with the same condition as Rob and Asan. She was surrounded by a horde of people that reached all the way back to the kitchen. The mob slowly dispersed to trap me next to the snack table. They all looked expectant. Without a word, the woman set something she was holding down on the table. I hadn't noticed it before, because I was still in shock, but she was holding a pizza. She walked over to Asan and held his hand. Go on, try some pizza, Asan said with, to me with tears streaming down his face. Yeah, you'll love it, said Robert, every word looking like it pained him to say. A sudden realization then struck me. The people in the crowd around me represented every possible demographic equally. Gays, blacks, whites, Asians, Jews, Christians, men and women, and I was standing next to an Asian, a Latino, and Rob was a redhead, while I was a white straight male, and my full name was White Male Demographic. I had realized all of this too late as I began to smile widely and look at the pizza. All right, fine, guys, I'll try the pizza, I said against my will. I reached down, grabbed a slice, and pulled it out slowly so the cameras could get a shot of the gooey cheese stretching. I used both hands to elevate it to my face and as the stage lights made the oil on the pizza shimmer deliciously. Everybody watched with bated breath as I sunk my teeth into the dough and cheese as marinara sauce leaked from the sides. I chewed it while nodding as if to confirm how good the pizza was before I was even able to speak again. I swallowed the bite, and it felt like lead as it hit my stomach. I looked at Asan and said through my smile and tears, Wow, this is really good. Is this delivery? And he looked at me while stating, No, man, it's not delivery. It's DiGiorno's! It's DiGiorno's!